Buildings in Singapore must now meet higher sustainability standards to be certified green. A new portal to cut down time needed to submit building plans for approval is also in the works. Natasha Razak has the details. This office building is being redeveloped to include about 250 apartments, powered by solar panels and efficient lighting. The design plans overcome space constraints and helped it to clinch a super low energy rating under new standards for residential developments. The building footprints was limited, so eventually we have resolved this, uh, maximised the available roof space and auxiliary areas to accommodate the PV, as well as on the building perimeter. Residential buildings have to be at least 60% more energy efficient than 2005 levels in order to earn the super low energy label. The new standard was developed as part of an enhanced Green Mark certification scheme, which was launched at the opening of the International Built Environment Week. Under the changes, new and existing buildings will have to place greater emphasis on areas such as smart technology, climate change resilience and reducing the carbon footprint of construction materials. Besides making the sector more sustainable, National Development Minister Desmond Lee also unveiled plans to improve regulatory processes for developments. The Building and Construction Authority is working on a one-stop digital platform that streamlines the submission of building plans to the various agencies to make it faster and more efficient. Presently, all in separate submissions. The challenge really is that because the processes and approval come in at different time, t- timeline, so um, there, there will be discrepancy in the, in the approval drawing. Now, a residential development takes about 12 to 15 months from design to getting the final approval. With the new platform, over 20 approval processes will be consolidated. This coordinated process will help our QP save time and avoid abortive work. They will no longer need to keep adjusting their plans to reconcile and address different requirements at multiple points of the approval process. The portal will be launched in two years.